uh, singer, songwriter and political activist Sir Bob Geldof and his band, the Boomtown Rats, are back. They have released a single that pays tribute to bandmate Gary Roberts, who sadly died recently. It's called No Tomorrow Like Today and it's all about seizing the moment. Let's take a listen. we spoke to the legend that is Bob earlier and he told us all about how uh, the band did manage to keep Gary involved. You can hear Gary um, being as one Irish critic uh, described his guitar playing as vulgar guitar playing which is exactly what it is. Another described him as a one-man Ramon. If you know the Ramones yeah, yeah. how brilliant they were. We used to play with them in schools in the afternoon um, when the two of us started and that really is what he was like. He uh, said they made a film about the rats and you know Gary was asked you know what he had wanted to do in his life. He said, well, what I wanted to do was drive my bike and play my guitar both fast. I don't wanna break it when I think I understand. Wake you up, girl. And he did. <laughs> so, um... You say he stood behind you for 40 years looking at your bottom. Yeah, well, that's, that's the, that's the sort of, <laughs> that's the fate of most musicians in front, when the singer's in front of them, but by the same token, I had this glowering resentment behind me who felt that the way to really, you know, establish his identity and cut through everything else was to just go that little bit louder every gig. So I'd turn around and be glaring, she'd be going, what, what do you want, get off? Shut up, mind your own business. I mean, literally, that would be, be said on, on, on stage. We couldn't have you on uh, without also talking about a Live Aid, and it's going to be, what, next year's the 40th? Anniversary of Band Aid. Of Band Aid, yes, yeah. indeed. So, did you ever think that will that it would be as big as it was? And indeed, you're going to do anything to celebrate? No. Um, you know, all Midge and I wanted. I saw something on the telly, and I thought that's disgraceful and disgusting, and I was enraged and angry and ashamed. And I said, I want to do a song by Christmas. That's all I can do. This, this demanded something of the self. It wasn't enough to put a quid into an Oxfam book. This, this was such a grotesque human um, event and all I can do is write tunes. So, but at the same time, writing a tune and getting your band to do it is not necessarily going to make the top in, in a matter of a few weeks. So uh, it was logical to get everyone together, all, all your contemporaries and all the new kids on the block and just do the song. And you know, what we thought is we'd get to Christmas and we'd make a hundred grand and we'd give it to Save the Children or UNICEF or Oxfam or something. Of course, what I had realized was that everyone watched the six o'clock news. They had felt the same rage and shame. And so that's what happened. But it took me ages to understand that. I was thinking, why is this going on? I mean, would you do, I mean, you've probably been asked this, something like the Ukraine or whatever, I mean. No, because pop music can't stop fascists. And, um, uh, you know, unfortunately, there's only one thing that can. They have to be beaten down and put back into their pit, you know? So that's what you do. But we can stop people dying of want, especially in a world of surplus. But, you know, I, I remember when we did Band Aid 30, uh, we had all the young kids from that generation, so Sam Smith, Rita Ora, uh, Ed Sheeran, uh, 1D with Harry, uh, yes, you know, yeah. so I remember um, Harry coming to me and said, thanks very much, I feel so privileged. And I said, why? And he said, because now I'm part of history. And that was cool, because I hadn't thought of it like that. And I think it's the, it's the record that's been number one the most times of any uh, record. But it's nothing to do with whether you like the way it's recorded or you like the track. It's a device, it's a device for change. That's what it is. And people can pick it up and do what they like with it. But back in late October 1984, that wasn't what I was thinking, you know? Well, so Bob Geldof, it's incredible that uh, your work is still helping people to this day, 40 years on. And 
so, so happy to see you making music again. Good luck. Thanks.